Happy Friday to all you tactical moms and dads out there and non-parents. Welcome back to another episode of the Tactical Everyday Dad. Father's Day is upon us. It's about a week and a half away. If you haven't found that perfect gift for your dad yet, don't you worry. I got you covered. But just like me, many dads out there just bite their tongue and accept socks and ties. But as you can see, most of us have plenty of these and we don't need any more. So let's go check out my top 10 gifts to give to that tactical dad in your life. And also please stay tuned to the very end of the video. We have a very, very sweet Father's Day giveaway to do for us. Let's go check them out. All right, so number one on the list is 8-Ball EDC. 8-Ball EDC is based out of Washington State, owned and ran by a single mother of three. She's an amazing lady, and she makes some very high-quality pocket handkerchiefs for the EDC user or even the old-school handkerchief user. All these are 100% cotton that she hand sews and cuts. Many different pattern options, as you can see. Mustache, Star Wars Stormtroopers, Imperial stuff, Nautical Seashells. I like to call these that old school Ed Hardy, like, tattoo kind of thing. Uh, Funko Pop style Marvel. Uh, let's see here. Like, Nautical Maps. Even Peppers. Halloween stuff. This would be great for your dad, uh, especially if he's in the EDC. I use these for all my Instagram pictures, and I know guys out there love to kind of whip out um, all of their gear, put it on a handkerchief just to have to create a nice background. Dads can always use this too. You know, if your mom sneezes and she needs something to wipe her face and she doesn't have a tissue, the gentleman father that you have will bust out a handkerchief for her so she can wipe her nose, or even for your children, you can wipe their nose. She makes some with microfiber in the back, which is awesome to clean off, you know, those satin finished blades for pocket knives, uh, iPhone screens, car screens, TV screens, iPad screens, Samsung screens, you name it. And then also she has some that are single sided. So one side saw with the other side is a pattern. I'll actually show you that in the side video as well. So yeah, number one is eight ball EDC. Number two on the list is Asphalt Trays. He is based out of California. He makes some high quality EDC dump trays as well as maintenance trays. Right here is his smaller, I would say like a pocket dump tray. This specific one is lined with rawhide. He makes mostly his with cork, however. This was a special drop that he had just a couple weeks ago. Here is an example of a maintenance tray. Holes here for hex bits, um, for torques and all that kind of stuff. Little pockets for screws, blades, and then all your larger items and your knives. All this stuff ranges from about $14 to $52. He has everything from minimalistic dump trays that are about probably three inches by eight to Olight bulb light charging stands to trays that have inserts for wireless phone charging. There's um, larger dump trays that is about this size. Just delete this area and it's fully lined and there's no divide um, divisions and stuff like that inside there. And he hands make these nice wood that he uses with great hardware. I use these personally um, on my desk to put my watches, knives, wallets, whatever I use that day and just kind of as a dump tray. So there you have it. Number two, asphalt EDC trays. So number three on our list is Carpe Diem EDC. Carpe Diem EDC makes EDC coins and they range from $15 all the way to $92 depending on the materials. There's bronze, nickel, copper, with antique or polished 
coins. I have an antique finished nickel, an antique finished bronze. A little backstory behind how EDC coins became to pass. So in the military, you are given challenge coins if you are participating in a campaign in a specific unit or branch or graduation, finishing training, a competition or so forth. And what it just symbolize is you have achieved that success or participate in this certain campaign, so forth. And when you go to the bar with your fellow soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, so forth, everybody whips out their coin and the last person to whip out the coin has to pay for the other guys for that specific round. If you don't have your coin on you, you're gonna be buying a lot of drinks that night. So back to the EDC version of those coins. When these first came out, I was pretty skeptical of why and how many of the brands that came out with these coins was kind of um, flooding the market with it. But Carpe Diem EDC coins has kind of a deeper meaning to them, which I appreciate. Carpe Diem means, of course, seize the day. And his logo is a, a clock gear in the forehead of his skull, a skull representing death himself. And what that means is at any time you can meet death which is kind of a deeper, but not so scary meaning, if that makes any sense. It's a very good kind of dead advice because you should always seize the day as if it's your last. You never know with everything going on in today's world, what could happen tomorrow. So say I love you to the ones you love. Take a moment to play with your child when they're dragging you across the room because they wanna play Hot Wheels with you. Hold the door open, say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, thank you, sir. Thank, no, like, just be polite to somebody because there's not many polite people in the world today. So, seize the day. I really like these coins as well. There is a lot of texturing on them. He has two different kind of coins, I believe. Three, I'm sorry. There's a carpet diem one with a tree of life and then the skull on the other side. And then he has these Viking traveler coins on his website. He has a very deep um, explanation on, of each of the different marking symbols and so forth on the coins. And it gives you kind of an explanation of what everything means, which is kind of cool. I sat there and read, it's a long read, but I sat there and read it and it was pretty, pretty nifty. His coins come in a clear plastic protective casing, which is cool. It gives it a nice smooth textile feel. However, I've seen these used as kind of a stress relief tool, almost like a stress ball. So what it is, is you take one of these, like this specific one is very textured if you actually feel the actual coin itself. Um, I've seen a lot of guys actually start to rub the coin and then your thumb and your touch sensation will feel the textile and textures of it and all the little markings and so forth, which distracts your mind a little bit from what you're thinking about that's stressing you out, giving you anxiety. So it's kind of a cool little pocket tool to have. It's for personal use. It's not really, you know, and I've seen guys also use these as um, an EDC kind of like flex because there are some expensive ones and there are, are some collectible ones that are hard to find yet. His are not too hard to find. They do sell out a lot. However, River's Edge Cutlery has them that I've seen and then directly from his website is currently in stock right now. So if you want to give these to your dad, they are available. So number four on the list is Atwork Rope Paracord Dispensers. Cool thing about these guys is it's already included inside is 50 feet of paracord. If it looks familiar to you guys, it looks just like a tape dispenser. So you can pull your paracord you need out and, oh, my bad. Cut it like so, 50 feet twined in there. It's tangle resistant. There's also a um, ruler right here for you. This pocket clip is removable, goes right in your belt. So if you know your dad goes backpacking and needs this to set up camp, or he is fixing something around the house. Paracord is actually very handy to fix things. 
Um, I use it to replace my shoelaces. I use it to replace any um, attachments on my backpacks and stuff like that. And it comes with that built-in cutter, which is cool. And you can actually use this to cut other items as well. Made in the United States fully. It comes in a couple of different colors, black, FDE tan, and I believe there's OD green as well. Great options for your everyday dad. I use these and your handy father can use these as well. Add with rope, rope dispenser. Number five on the list is Bald Man Knife and Tool. So this one is his pocket pry bar and bottle opener. The cool thing about this is it's an actual functional bottle opener. He actually has, with each of his bottle openers now, comes with the test bottle cap that he uses on. There's a lot of pry bars out there that say they have a bottle opener, but it doesn't create the correct angle and leverage you need to actually pop bottles open. But this guy truly does. Disclosure, it doesn't come with a lanyard. I put this on there just because I have a little pocket quiver that this goes in and it's easier to pull it out with. But you don't really need this. It's actually a very well thought out little pocket tool. The materials he uses for the handles are awesome. He's got um, G Mascus, or I'm sorry, G Carta, um, the Mexican blanket patterns, G10, carbon fiber, you name it, he's got it. Different steels too. He's got 154 cm he has um damascus he also has o1 tool steels he has multiple different ones out there that he continuously drops um throughout the weeks and months it's just great to have because all dads out there love beer and most of the ones now have twist offs but there's still some with ones you have to pop open and it's always good to have a little pry bar um not like a expensive crazy one but something that's actually function like his that has the right angle. You never know we need to pry a bucket of paint or a packaging. Can you can use this for like a makeshift package opener too for boxes. It's good enough to open tape and stuff like that. You can get them on his website at baldmanknifeandtool.com. They range in and around the $100 range depending on the materials, the steels and so on. He's a great guy that I met at Blade Show. He's actually from around my hometown in Naples, Florida. He's from Fort Myers, Florida, which is a little bit north, but it's actually not too far. I used to actually hang out there a lot on Fort Myers Beach and downtown Fort Myers, as well as um, Florida Gulf Coast University area right there in between Fort Myers and Naples in the Bonita Springs area. So great guy, great company, great little tool. Every dad needs it. Number six on the list is key bar. Key bars are really cool just because as everybody knows, when you have a key chain with a lot of keys, there's just keys flopping around, jingling stuff. My son actually used to like playing with keys when he was very, very young, which isn't very sanitary because that was prior to COVID now thinking about it. That was probably a really bad idea. <laughs> so with these, as you can see, they're pretty cool as where you can put multiple keys in it. They have tools that you can actually put in here. Like this one here has a knife, kind of like a Swiss Army knife. And this is actually, if I remember correctly, uh, S30, no, this is S S90V actually on this guy. It's a nice little pocket knife to go along with your keys. These are the full size ones. And then I also like the juniors, same concept. This also has a smaller one. I believe this knife blade is 20 CV, however, it was a limited run, and they don't currently make these anymore. Again, it holds keys as well, besides the knife. This one's just strictly keys. Let me see here. This one's a little tight. And a little lanyard hole attachment there. You can see the blades come in these tins. The large ones can also come in tins. However, the smaller guys come in a like clam pack kind of thing. On Key Bar website, they range from about 20 bucks all the way to 120, depending on the material of the Key Bar itself. They also have it on Amazon, and I believe there are certain knife retailers that also carry Key Bar, but not 
as an extensive selection as keybar.com themselves. So yeah, another perfect option for your tactical ready dead. So number seven on the list are Dango wallets. They range from $69.99 all the way to $250, depending on material, aircraft aluminum, titanium, carbon fiber, as well as Cerakoted aluminum or titanium, and many different leather colors or synthetic water resistant materials they use for the front. This particular one is the Tactical. The tacticals come with a carved multi-tool that goes right inside. There's blades on this side, hexes, flathead screwdrivers, bottle openers, rope tensioners. Fits right into the back cavity. This back cavity will hold up to three cards without sliding the back plate. But once you exceed three cards, it starts to kind of move up and down. You can hold one or two cards in the front of the leather, but I'm kind of OCD and only want to hold one because it starts to stretch it too much. Exchangeable um, elastic bands that hold the whole thing. It's very heavy duty elastic and the back plate's also unchangeable. There's carbon fiber or the aluminum ones you can get. Same thing with this backing that's leather, different color leather. There's synthetic options as well. Comes with a lanyard, paracord lanyard that goes right here in this hole or you can purchase an additional lanyard that has a carabiner on there. So you kind of hook it like um, to your belt, to your wallet. It's not easily accessible if somebody tries to pickpocket you. Put this right back in. Great options just for the parent, uh, tactical dads out there that have big, huge leather wallets and it takes a lot of real estate in the pocket. It's a very slim, minimalistic style wallet. I actually switched this kind of wallet back in 2010 almost, and you don't ever need more than five cards and some cash. There's other options on this. If you want to carry more cards without overstretching the back plate and elastic, there's bifold options. There's also um, vertical attachments for the more intricate models. You can just check out all the models at dangle.com. But my personal favorite is the tactical wallet that comes with the multi-tool inside it runs about a hundred bucks depending on the coloration and the, and the variations you choose for this guy another great option for your tactical everyday dad number eight in the list is the brand new kit in the block the leatherman bond the leatherman bond is a new entry into the leatherman family it's only 49.95 which is a steal for a 14 tool full-size plier multi-tool it even comes with a leather i'm sorry a nylon sheath this is a great option just because i know most dads out there never replace the stuff they use and have things for 10 20 30 years but this is a very cool redo of the original leatherman tool itself into a more modernized package a very slender lightweight leatherman if you guys want to check out more information about this particular leatherman right in the link there's a be a link in the description below for this specific leatherman that i have done a review on again this is a great option for your tactical everyday dad for father's day so number nine on the list let's talk shoes does your dad or the dad you know in your life wear shoes like this well, not I, not I. The shoes that I wear are these Merrill sneakers. These are actually the tactical Moab ones. Perfect dad sneakers. Mom, if you see this, I'm sorry, I have my shoes on the table. I do apologize. Great dad shoes just because they're water resistant. Heavy tread, so you can chase your tactical toddler anywhere he or she goes we has to be on the beach, in the woods, in the mall, at the grocery store, or just around the block. They can't outrun you when you're wearing these. These on the website are about $120, either from Amazon or Merrill directly. I've seen them go on sale with 20% offs here and there. There is different variations where there's high tops or even boots of this particular model. 
There's other sneakers and hiking boots on there as well. It's a great brand. And if you are a veteran or first responder, they actually have a program where you get 20% off automatically on all your purchases from their website. The link will be in the description on how to access that for you as well. Again, another great option for that tactical everyday dad so you don't have to wear shoes like that. Now to the part that everybody has been waiting for, the Father's Day giveaway. We have some amazing prizes for you and I don't want you to miss out. So let's go over the prizes real quick. Not just get one, not two, but three eight ball EDC Hanks in total. Two of the original ones and one with the microfiber back. So you can use it to clean your screens, knives, so forth. An asphalt EDC tray, small dump tray in the exclusive dark hardware and tactical everyday dad branding. Amazing dump trays. I personally have these myself. Great for your keys, wallets, knives, so forth. And for the Grand Resistance, the Mini Adamus First Production Black G10 with the Graphite Cerakote Plain Edge. This knife has been sold out for many many months and very hard to come by and you have the chance to win this bad boy for you or your dad in case you already have one and again this is the first production it's brand new in box i literally took it out just for this video and the pictures i'll be posting on instagram so how you win these amazing prizes you have to be a subscriber of my channel also a follower on my instagram There'll be a link below. Comment on this video, Happy Father's Day. And also comment on the Father's Day giveaway post on Instagram, Happy Father's Day as well. You have to comment on both Instagram and YouTube on this video and the Father's Day giveaway post on Instagram. As well on Instagram, like you do to tag three individuals that you think could benefit from this giveaway and the giveaway rules will also be in instagram just so in case um you don't quite know so again you have to be a subscriber of my channel a follower of my instagram you have to comment and say happy father's day on this video as well as the instagram post and tag three people in the instagram post for your chance to win the first production, Mini Adamus. Asphalt EDC tray. As well as three eight ball EDC handkerchiefs. Good luck to everybody out there. I will draw the name Father's Day evening and post it on my Instagram, the winner of the Father's Day giveaway. Again, good luck to everybody. Happy Father's Day. We'll see you guys very soon.